Welcome to my gaming room. I've got the door and my little doorstop here. And you're greeted with obviously the most prettiest view in all of Toronto. Look how beautiful this is. I wanted to do it during the sunset. You can't really see the sun, but you can't really see the sun today, but doesn't it look so pretty during sunset? This is the switch for all of the um for the plug so when I turn off all my PCs I don't have to turn off all the lights or anything all I do is just turn this off and it will turn off the whole room pretty much so yeah so when you come in this fluffy rug that I got from Amazon I got the smaller one so that I could have like underneath the um, the desk be just like bare but now I kind of regret it and I wish I bought like a bigger one so that it could like fit the whole hole of the desk but it's fine and then I have my LED strip lights on the bottom. I mean, just the usual. I had these in my old bedroom as well. Okay, and then you come here and this is like pretty much my background. I have this little um, table that I got from Amazon. I got a candle that I got from HomeSense. My Amazon Alexa. She's gonna talk to me. Oh no, she's not. She doesn't care. And then I've got this plant that I got from Amazon and the light that's on it. It doesn't look visually appealing, but in the camera it looks fine, okay? <laughs> like in stream, it's fine. And this is all pretty much I wanted in my background. I didn't want anything um, too overwhelming. I just wanted it to keep it very simple. So that's why I only have that. And then I have this light that is on top of my PC, just reflecting on the background. That sits on top of my PC right there. So that's this side. And then you come over to my... Um, projector obviously everything will be linked in the bio and I'll show it on the screen as well it's really pretty and it just lights up the room like that and you can do different settings to um, show like do different colors put the stars on I personally like when the stars are off so that's why I just have it on this nice like purple one there's that and then on the side I used to have that underneath my that but I just put that there for now. That's my air humidifier. I need to just keep using it. <laughs> and then I have um, my bin that I keep on the side so it's not like underneath my desk and in, in the way. And then we're making it over to the um, Alex drawers from Ikea. Now these drawers are actually the best. They have so much storage. I'll show you guys what's in each drawer. So down here is just like my miscellaneous stuff I've got. An extra lens, a tripod, the um, the mouse pad that Call of Duty gave us, controller, Activision band, like my keychains, like everything that I got from all my trips, and camera, like an extra camera. And then the drawer above, I have all my extra HDMI wires, like all my extra wires, any wire that I need, it's in here. Like, And then in this one, I have um, extra batteries, extra memory cards, extra plugs, all the plugs that I need. Memory cards, all the plugs and stuff that I need are in here. So we always got back up everything. This is where I keep all of like my building stuff I suppose except for these these are in the wrong place we're gonna move them to the bottom these are my phone covers um this has got like obviously my measuring tape you know stuff that I need if I need to build something it's all in here you know what I'm saying so there's that and then my first drawer is what I use often is where I keep all like my stuff that I need to grab on the go so my lip my lip balm Got some lippy stuff, my gamer grip, please sponsor me, I use this shit every day, a hair tie, hair ties, hair clips, bobby pins, some floss, you know sometimes you just need to be flossing, makeup wipes, my, 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 um, my remotes. So there's that. Moving on to the setup. Okay, and this is my chair. This chair I got from Ikea. I forgot the name of it, but 
Honestly, this chair is not the comfiest, but it's like, it does the job, you know what I'm saying? If anything, you should definitely invest in a chair if you're going to spend a lot of time sitting in it. I had a Herman Miller back home, but there was just no way in how I was going to spend two racks on um, a chair again. So this chair does the job. And honestly, it goes with the aesthetic as well. I wanted a white chair. And then moving on to... So this is my PC. Shout out to Stints Build for making this for me. This is my streaming PC. I wanted it to be white because that's like the kind of aesthetic I'm going for in my room. I wanted it to be like really nice, like a lot of RGB, but um, you know, you know, she had a budget and that just wasn't in the budget. So that's my streaming PC. It's very pretty. I have my little, what is this called? Coaster. It's really cute. It's this Logitech um, LED light. Really nice. It's a little stand. And then I've got my mic right next to it. This one is the, the Blue Yeti Caster mic. And then I've obviously got my two monitors. This one's a Kogan monitor. I only, I bought a really cheap, cheap monitor for the top one because I didn't, you know, I'm just using that to like look at social media. I don't need anything crazy. But this one, um, I spent a little bag on this one just because, you know, we got to have a top quality monitor for when we're gaming. This is a 244 hertz, 27 inch. And then just below it, I've got a cute little Philips Hue light. I've got it on candle mode right now. So do you see how it's kind of flickering? It's so cute. It keeps like the room cozy. Like next to it is my Go XLR. And next to that is my Elgato Stream Deck. And I just have, I don't know if you guys can see, but I just set them all to like have this galaxy looking thing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love like having my wallpapers, like anything to do with space and the galaxy. My two mouses right here. This is a Logitech Pebble mouse. People roasted the shit out of me for having these mouses, but like, I'm not a mouse and key player. I just want something that looks aesthetically pleasing. And honestly, these two mouses are it. <laughs> these two mouses are it. So yeah, and they're, and they're really cheap as well. So these are from Logitech. Really, really pretty. And then next to it, I have my high ground keyboard. They high ground bought, bought out a like clear keyboard, which I really was tempted to buy. I was like, no, I don't need a keyboard. I have this one and it's really good. I really like this one as well. And then next to that, I have my phone holder. So that's why I keep my phone majority of the time when I'm streaming. And then I have the tissues behind it, you know, cause the girl needs some tissues when you're streaming or whenever you just need some tissues. This one, this mouse pad, I actually bought in Australia. I'm gonna try and find the link for it, but if I don't, I'm so sorry. But all I was looking for was a nude mouse mat. That's all I was looking for. And that's what I got. And then right behind that is my Elgato ring light. It's kind of covered by this monitor, but I have it set to really low anyway when I'm streaming because the lighting behind me can get really intense and I, it can kind of make everything super bright. So it's kind of halfway hidden behind the monitor. Right next to that is my Sony a6000. This is what I use to stream. I'll put the lens on the screen as well. And obviously it's going to be in the description because I don't know it off by heart, but this lens is probably the best lens that I've ever had. Um, definitely worth it. And the lens is definitely worth it as well. And just about that is a ca another camera. This is what I use for TikTok. It's the Logitech um, stream cam. I do not recommend this camera. This camera makes me look washed out. I've tried every single setting. And then on the left here, I have my vertical monitor. I wanted to get a vertical curved monitor. I've never had this um, set up before where I've had two mounted on top of each other and then this one on its own. I've always had three on the side, but like, you know, when you need that extra room, this is probably the best setup that I've ever had to have like that extra room. And plus this monitor is big enough to have everything that I want on the screen like there so i love this monitor it's so pretty it's so big i think it's like 30 something 30 something inch and then right here is my ipad and my ipad holder i've got my planner in here i use this every single day so it's very important that i have it close and then i have my gaming pc on the left now this is the only thing i don't like about my setup is because it's black like if it was just white like that i was contemplating buying a you know cover for it but i was like nah that's just too much too much money so i'm thinking about painting it white or like spray painting it white but yeah this is my gaming pc and on the top of my gaming pc is the sunset lamp it's so pretty you can have like different colors i just go and turn it on from here turn it off turn it on and then you can like change the colors as well but i like this color 
it goes with the room. And then just below that, I have my controller. This is a this is a scuff impact. So I have that hanging on these hooks here, as well as my headset, just to keep my desk area very minimalist and very clean like i don't like clutter when you're done streaming for the day i just put my headset down here and my controller down here and it's just good like it's not on the desk it's not in the way and it's just great and then down there's my foot pedal for my cheats there's my that's my foot pedal the first one is to unmute and mute in discord the middle one is to mute the game sound in in game and then the last one is to talk in game so i just hold it down if i need to talk so that's also really helpful as well having a foot pedal as a streamer is so so good and i highly recommend you get it yeah and then i have my heater slash fan down there as well because we're about to head into winter it's about to get a little bit chilly definitely need that for the winter that is probably a fire hazard but that is my <laughs> that is my um cable management listen out of sight out of mind is what i say you know like look up here beautiful stunning amazing don't need to see it don't need to have it and then here is just a little cupboard it's got all my suitcases and extra stuff in there that i do not want to show you guys so you're not allowed to see it. but anyways guys that is pretty much my whole setup. The sun has actually gone down since I've since I've started this uh, video. So, look how pretty the city looks at night. This is the best setup that I've ever had. If you go back through my old videos and look through my old setups, like I literally had, you know, I really came up. I'm so very blessed and I'm so very thankful and it wouldn't be possible without your guys' support. So I truly appreciate every single person who has tuned into the streams, who has commented on a video, who has watched a video, who has liked a video, who's even viewed my channel. That's always, that's helped me grow and that's helped me get to the way I am today. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I hope you guys enjoyed the gaming room tour. Bye.